Hello, everybody. Thank you for watching. As always, it's the American Doofus Show. Don't be a doofus. This is in case you missed it. And uh, a quick reminder, tomorrow night, Thursday, 1030 Eastern Standard Time, we will be live with the People's Platform. Summer Dickerson is going to join and we're going to be talking about human trafficking. Also, a reminder that on Friday, uh, I'll be releasing the second American Doofus Sports Edition. And uh, we'll be talking about the divisional round games of uh, the NFL playoffs. So I invite you to join me for that as well as tomorrow night live. Uh, also, I've got a book out. My latest novel is called America, Land of the Greed, Home of the Grave. Now, it's a, um, it's a good book. It's a good story. It's something for everybody. It's not written for a specific uh, political ideology or anything like that. So uh, the link to uh, consider buying the book will be in the description below. And I ask you uh, to click on the link and uh, consider purchasing a book for yourself. And one, one is a gift for a friend, it easily shipped and uh, all done through Amazon. Um, if you'd like to help support the show, dollar sign, American Doofus, all one word. You want to contact me, it's American Doofus at gmail.com. Hit the subscribe, hit the like, hit the share, and uh, hit the notification button if you're already a subscriber so you'll know when our next episodes are coming on. Um, real briefly, we're going to be talking tomorrow night on the People's Platform about a few things. Um, and in case you missed it, it was uh, Martin Luther King Day on uh, Monday. Arizona, the only state in the entire country that does not recognize Martin Luther King Day and uh, Donald Trump giving a speech in uh, Arizona ahead of Martin Luther King Day. Coincidence? It's up for you to decide. Just something to think about. Uh, Martin Luther King had a dream. Trump had a mob. How two days in January offer competing visions for America and uh, how divided we are. Uh, January 6th, uh, McCarthy said Trump admitted bearing some responsibility for the attack. So Republican Party um, potentially at a point where they realize they are too far down the Trump rabbit hole uh, to get out. They have uh, possibly made their beds and if you don't support Trump, you're not gonna get the support of the people. Um, there's a big difference between those that only support Donald Trump and those that support the Republican Party over Donald Trump. There could be a massive split politically. Um, and uh, I wanted to touch on this real quick. Um, Gisselaine Maxwell, I, I'm not sure if I mispronounced that. If I did, I'm sorry, but uh, she ends her fight to keep the eight John Doe's secret court to decide whether their names should be unsealed. This is something I want to discuss with Summer, and I want your opinions on tomorrow night on the platform. Um, the eight John Doe's, uh, we can almost guarantee that there will be political connections to the United States, um, as well as probably Prince Andrew in, uh, in the United Kingdom. Um, my question is, why shouldn't these names be unsealed? Why shouldn't we know who was um, paying big dollars to generate this human trafficking? Um, will a Clinton or a Trump name possibly pop up or someone's associated closely with them? I don't know, something to think about. The question though really is, why should they not be unsealed? And uh, we'll talk about that more tomorrow night. So um, once again, it's the American Doofus Show. It's in case you missed it, just a brief uh, little update on a couple of things from this past weekend. A lot of things happened this past weekend. The, um, the leader, of, uh, leader of the Proud Boys was released from prison uh, while the uh, leader of the Oath Keepers and 11 others were... Uh, charged with uh, sedition, trying to overthrow the government. Um, so, and uh, if Trump bears some responsibility for that, things could get, and I, and I predict they will get very ugly this summer as we head towards the uh, November 
2022 midterm elections when uh, now in the midterm elections, one third of all the senators will be up for reelection. The entire House of Representatives is up for reelection every two years, as well as various local uh, offices. And, and we will be talking in, in detail about that over the course of the next few months. So uh, again, if you'd like to help keep us on the air, please do so with uh, dollar sign cash app, uh, dollar sign American Dufus, all one word, A-M-E-R-I-C-A-N-D-U-F-U-S. And uh, need some help, honestly, because my laptop crashed. And uh, I'm going this afternoon to see what they can, uh, what they can recover. Uh, it's a disaster recovery is what it's called. They're going to try to get everything they can off of the hard drive. The motherboard um, ended up frying from the inside out. And they say it's possibly a uh, targeted attack corrupting the system. So uh, that's a little disconcerting because, who, you know, a number of people who, who would possibly do that, unfortunately. So um, little, that, that's another reason this is kind of short is because I'm kind of bummed out about that. I might've lost all my writings. I don't know yet. Uh, my second, the follow-up book to the current novel uh, was on that laptop and it was about three quarters of the way done and was gonna be coming out this um, early this summer was the plan. So I'm a little bummed out about things and um, I'm going to be financially, um, laying out some cash. So if you'd like to help out, please do so. Don't consider it, um, you know, an obligation. We do this because it's the right thing to do, talking about things other people don't talk about, not telling you what to think or how to think, just giving you things to think about. See American Doofus Show. Don't be a doofus. Do try to be a light, man. It is a dark world and uh, darkness uh, that comes with evil. Uh, we're in a dark world. Try to be a light, try to share some love, try to be an example of uh, positivity and love. And uh, uh, thank you for watching. I love you all. Till next time, tomorrow night, 1030 Eastern Standard Time, the uh, People's Platform will be doing it live on the American Doofus Show. Uh, your chance to possibly come on. I, uh, Summer Dickerson will be on. And uh, again, we'll be talking about human trafficking and the Jocelyn Maxwell case, um, which is front and center in the news. So until then, it's the American Doofus Show. Don't be a doofus. I love you all. Blessings to all.